get in here. Welcome into your October love reading. Let's see what um, October has for you in love, honey. Let's take a look at it. All right, guys, we're going to uh, um, also get some cards, but this will also be your rune and wand reading, okay? I will timestamp down below for you guys that are not interested in the rooms, okay? You know, I like to get in my rooms, honey, so we're going to do that first, and then we'll grab the cards. Happy Halloween to you guys that are celebrating. Happy trick-or-treat, and I hope everybody um, has a good time. Safety for the kids always, okay? So, we are open for personal readings, okay? Everything you need to know is down below about getting yourself booked in. They are done on Sundays, okay? I do check the email maybe um, twice, but for the most part, once a week. So, I will be getting to you, okay, guys? Make sure that you're also subscribed to your area's only placements. Love Tarot, anywhere areas is in. Your chart, your person's chart, okay? Karmic energy attachments. Clock all you see, honey. You got messages over there, all right? So, let's get started. If you don't know already, I am your Shaman Empress. A.K.A. The Show Me Hummingbird, baby. I'll be reading all the signs and the energies that I see here for you guys, okay? Uh, the energy is fluent and will fluctuate back and forth at times between you and your person. There's still general readings and general messages, so please take what is for you. Simply leave what is not for everything personal. Um, make sure you go ahead and book you something personal and personal reading, okay, guys? Um, but part of this message can still be yours and the whole message can still be yours. Whatever's happening here can also be happening physically and or spiritually. Give me the message just please holy spirit almighty beautiful universe and holy spirits um somebody's basement gets flooded someone here could have like a mold or mildew uh smell in their in their home hmm. okay it could be because i know we are getting a lot of rain maybe you deal with uh water in the home Okay, I just heard re uh, 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 the roof is leaking. Somebody's roof could be leaking. Leaking. What else? Okay. Some of you guys could live like on a slope or on a hill or something. So maybe you get all the water on the bottom. Okay. All right. I don't know what a flood, a flood bank, a flood bank is. Okay, I don't know if that's confirmation or something that you deal with. You would know what that means. All right. All right, let's see. Messages for the collective. For October love. Some of you guys are throwing Halloween parties for the kids or something like that. Someone's birthday could be um, close to Halloween. So maybe you, you take Halloween for more of a celebration as well for birthday purposes. It's also something I'm getting. Depending on where you are, it could also rain on Halloween. It could be very dark and cloudy and gloomy on Halloween. Okay, because I'm seeing like costumes or something. Hmm. There's a bar party. Some of you guys could be going to like a Halloween. I don't know if this is like a bar party. I mean, honey, Halloween is popping. Halloween is popping. Okay, give me the October love messages. How many beautiful universe and Holy Spirit? Show me the energy, please. Ooh. Oh, for some of you guys, you meet somebody new in October. Yes, you are. Now, somebody here has, uh, this person that you're meeting could have, like, very poor communication skills. Someone here don't communicate their emotions. Yeah. Um, or they feel like you don't. Someone here feels like you need to work on your communication. This person really likes you, but you do get on their nerve or something like that. Or maybe that you're not communicating the way that they want you to. Now, something's going to be revealed to, uh, revealed to you online or through a phone. This can all be, also be your ancestors giving you messages. Your ancestors are going to be speaking um, to you through a phone, online or something. These messages in October. This is to reveal something to you. Um, if you wanted to go somewhere or you, let's say... You know what you're what I'm seeing here? Let's say you wanted to move, travel, whatever you wanted to do. 
um, and your ancestor heard you, they're going to start sending you all of a sudden, like, you'll start seeing package, travel package. For some of you guys, you, you're like, well, how the fuck is that happening? Huh. Now, you, you guys, there's something going on with advertisement as well. I don't know how I'm going to say this because we're on YouTube. Let's just say certain messages that you're also getting in your phone on a more technical part of it. Because I'm seeing a spiritual part and I'm seeing technicality here. Uh, it's being done... It, 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 it's it's being sent to the phone. For example, you're seeing and thinking trips, so all of a sudden the phone is bringing up trips. Okay? Yeah, we're going to let that go. Allegedly. That could be something to look at in October. I feel like I got to say allegedly, so I'm not I'm not going to say that. Now, for some of you guys, I mean, so I'm not going to say the full thing. We ain't, mm -mm. Now, for some of you guys, you also could be experiencing some, some car tra travel. Some car trouble. Driving your own car would not be smart if you do travel or go anywhere in October. Now, for some of you guys, you're not going to be able to go see family for the holidays. This could be also like when you book like your your holiday festive um, activities or and something or something like that. There's also communication coming in October that somebody is not satisfied in the relationship. Mm. Someone here is also wants a lot of sex. Uh, now I don't know what kind of sex they think y'all supposed to have, but they want they 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 want that one sex. Oh, chill! Oh, damn! Four three four on the clock as I say this. Well, damn, Gina, who making these home videos? Somebody here makes their own home, like, video, and they watch it when you're not around. Okay, so if y'all agree to, like, do something and make a video of it, get my, you got my drift. I know you got my drift, baby. I know you do. Um, they watch it when you ain't there. And they also watch it at work. Damn. That's what she said. I don't said. know what this is. I don't know what y'all y'all doing. But mm. so this person doesn't like your friends. Somebody here distance they they distance yourself from your friends on purpose. That could be something y'all also need to talk about in October. I, I don't know why I keep hearing June. Something specific about June. Um, you could be um now for some of you guys, court ain't going good. If you are due to go to court or something's coming up in court, it's not going. It could be a money issue. There could be a lawyer wanting more money for something in October. I don't know who that's for. This could has to deal with family. So this is someone here. If you got like a, a relative that's locked up, they need they need they need you to put some money down on them. Fam. I just heard fam. This this person could to talk like that. Like you know they need you fam. That's what I just heard. Now, some of you guys are in a new cycle in October. Y'all don't give a damn about who feel about it. That's what she said. Some of you guys have been mistreated. I also see you letting go of people. Letting go of friendships. Now, some of you guys have cut off like three family members, child, because you don't got time. Or maybe you do got time today. That's what she said. Okay. That's it. Now, your twin flame or your soulmate wants a new start with you. Um, But they haven't decided... On how to come towards you. It's like they're halfway to making a move. I don't know who that's for. This could also come with communication. This could be also someone here that kind of wants you to. They want to take you somewhere. Maybe travel. I, um, this I, I'm, I'm thinking this is because. y'all, But y'all haven't been talking. Hmm. There could be, like, some dysfunction in the relationship. Now, to be honest with you, this person has worked on some of their shadow, but not all of it. They're, they're still healing. That's something that you need to know. They're still healing that. This person is still healing. Yeah. 
No, but that that's sex in October is looking yeah. real juicy. I'm What's just telling you, that sex is that's sexing. Okay, somebody could be also into. Oh, somebody here is also into sexting. I don't know what y'all in, but y'all into them things. It look it look mighty juicy in October. Okay, okay. Let me. I'm just saying, child. Y'all getting it in in October. Woo, y'all getting it in in October. In spite of everything else, October is getting it in. Just know that. Okay. Now, you are in a new cycle. You have um, completed. I also feel like, for some of you guys, this person don't know how to come back to you because you have transformed. So, you are not the same person. That's how they don't know how to communicate with you. This could be somebody here that also feels like they don't know if, if certain stuff to say like they used to say. Ciao! Oh my God, I just heard so much shit. I'm about to... Y'all is trying it. Oh my gosh. Who be having dirty talk like that? They don't know if it's cool to be that way, you know. Like if y'all was to do it and they, you know, would be a talker. For an example, is it, would it be okay to talk like that, or would it still, would y'all still, you know, this person has a lot of respect for you. Um, this is somebody here that did you wrong, though. Hmm. Child. Mm. Now, somebody here also don't feel like you and her family will work well together. Someone here feels like they come from a toxic family. You may think why this person could be hiding something. And they are. They're hiding the fact that they don't think... Uh, the family might not care for you, but I don't see you really caring for the family. That's what she said! Um, coming up in October. Like, who cares? Mm-hmm. Well, 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 Gina. Okay. We're going to shut it down. I'm not picking up much more energy so far. Because I also want to get you guys cards. So I don't want to take the video too long, honey. It'll take three days to upload. All right. So we're going to time stamp it. That's what your runes are looking like. Oh, I just saw 1242. Woo, in October, honey. All right. We're going to time stamp down below. And we're going to pull your cards for you. All right, also 1251 is an angel number. You might want to look that up, guys. Okay, we'll probably pull one here as well for you and do one uh, together on the channel. So let's take a look at the cards are giving you for October. All right, I cannot believe it's already October. The year has went so fast. Okay, I just saw Emperor and a candle. Oh, you got a bossy daddy. I just heard a boss daddy, okay? They just showed me a card. I have boss daddy in that deck. So, yeah, it looks like that's the card. We're, the cards we're going to be using. Okay. All right. So, let me pull them out now, honey. All right. Okay, so, oh, shit. So, for some of you guys, um, you are getting with, like, there's a boss daddy. There could be a... Uh, an age difference between you and this person. Um, but this is somebody that's uh, attracted to you. Now, somebody here got it. This could be also somebody. Hold on, guys. This can be also somebody here that got money. Okay, this could be someone here that is established. I heard 401k. Now, I know somebody ain't going to borrow from their 401k. I'm just saying to get you. This emperor. Mmm. I told you he was popping out. All right, messages for the collective. Show me some energy. What do we need to know? They want us to pull the cards, so that's what we'll be doing. Okay, give me October. What else do we need to know about October? Okay, October. What's going on for the collective for October and love? Oh, shit. The Six of Lightning. The Four of Lightning. This new person. So the T is, there's a new person that is coming towards you in ex, in October. This new person's getting exposed. 
So you are meeting a new person. But it's like this new... Something here is being exposed about this person. I don't know if this is good or... Yeah, uh -uh, the world card. Oh, shit. Now, for some of you guys, there is something that you need to know about this person. Something here is going to be exposed about them that you don't like. But, you know, this person does want to travel. I keep picking it up. This is somebody that does want to, like, travel with you or something like that. The seven of lightning and the five of lightning. Uh-huh. This person plays a lot of mind games. That could be something that you don't like about this person here. That's what that's what you need to know. Yeah, this person likes to play mind games. The the thing is, that's my the will of fortune. That's what might change over time in this relationship. There's a new person coming in. Um, it does look like this person feels like there's a connection here. But the your ancestors has also been allowed to expose something to you about this person like god have give, given the okay for your ancestors if you know anything about the spiritual letter god has um pressed down permission for something to be revealed about this new person and you're going to find out like this is somebody here that is very manipulative and play mind games and may make you put distance or something like that um now something could happen if you go somewhere with this person or if this is somewhere that you guys meet and y'all start going little places together doing things together there's something that's exposed to you doing travel that it's like an epiphany happenings or some kind of enlightenment about this person somebody here is putting a scarecrow up okay yeah um, wow, yeah, see, and it changes the relationship. Now, for some of you guys, you're going to open up dating again. It's like after what you find out, whatever you find out. Hmm. All right, we're going to get a quick, uh... Angel number for you guys. And you know what? I'm I'm going to pull an ancestor message. We're going to see um, what they want you to know. Because their they're whole, your ancestors, this person's being exposed. But I, I feel like they, they still want to be with you. It's you not wanting to deal with them. Um, there's also could be something that's going on with a child. Something that could be going on with their child. It's also something that I'm getting here. If you were like wondering of like a situation with a child or a situation that was going on with a person in their child or the situation, you know, with the child, it could involve the child's mother. Everything is coming out in October. It's like you finally get the messages and your spirit team has been trying to show you the whole time. Now, the thing is, this is somebody that got money. Somebody here feels like because they got money, um, maybe they don't have to answer to the same things as everybody else because they're stable. They have stability. They could feel like they, you know, they get away with a lot. But I feel like you make them stand on it. But that could be like what they need. We have um, six, four. Five and seven. There's a this person lies a lot. Lies. Now somebody here is like, I don't know if this is like a great master motherfucking liar. It's like they lie and then the truth gets exposed to you. This is that energy where it's like, you know, I'm gonna find out anyway. You know that I'm gonna know. I'd rather for you just to tell me. And they still lie. Then they have to tell like five more lies to cover up the lies. All right, let's get this angel number. And then we're going to do some clarifications here. Okay, angel number 6457. This number manifests as a divine sign that your guides want you to discover your full potential and live your life to the fullest. Let me repeat this shit again in case y'all didn't hear me in the back because I swear I'm telling you that's what I just said. Listen to this shit right here. 6457 manifests as a divine sign that your guides want you to discover your full potential and live your life to the fullest. I feel like that's exactly what you're doing and that's what I've been picking up even in your rooms. But this is the thing. I feel like this is somebody here 
that is here to challenge you and maybe even teach you a lesson. So uh, this could be somebody that is sent on your journey to get you to your next place. This might even sound crazy, but yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. So you are willing to set the healthy boundaries on what you're willing to accept and not willing to accept. Even if you like somebody, even if it's stability involved. Um, because value is like quality versus quantity. You know, God is always testing us, always testing you. You are being tested and you have to be careful. In October, you accepting what you are accepting. It's like, are you say you ready? Now, let me testing you to see how ready you really are. Now, this is fated to happen. This has already been written. Okay. For you to meet this person. For this person to even help, you know, maybe come teach you something, this new person. But they are sent to, it, it, it's like they're going to try to trick you. And what are you going to do? Are you going to stand on it? Or are you going to, but this is somebody that plays mind games. Now, this person tricks a lot of people. Now, somebody here didn't, um, didn't already trick like five people. Um, they're, they, 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 now they, this person is skilled when it comes to trickery. They got, they got trichosis. Okay. They will trick you out of everything, honey. You, you, some of you guys kind of know, it's like, you know better. You know how you always know better, but when people you like come in, it's like, you don't do what you know to do. Something like that is also ha happening in October. But this is somebody that um, they lie. They, they they play with mind games. These are mental spells. Um, what is the... Um, we want to see what the Five of Lightning is. We want to see. What's the Five of Lightning? What's the Five of Lightning? Ooh, the Ten of Cups. Mm, the Eight of Cups. Uh-uh. See, the, there's a, you're, the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Cups. This It's like they're going to make you walk away. But you really like this person. The Four of Cups, but they're going to disappoint you. So for some of you guys, you're going to find out that this person has a family. Yup, the Eight of Pentacles. This person has been trying to work it out with a family. The Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. What's the tea on this person? Give me the tea. Oh, give me some tea on that, please. Yup. Mm -mm. The Queen of Cups is on the bottom of the deck, baby. Oh my gosh! They've been so they haven't told you, so they could be trying to trick you. It's like you know you. No, nah, you know I'm just trying to work it out for the child, but it really they, they've been telling this person or making this person also think they're going to work it out with them. Damn! Yep. Yeah. What I tell you, travel. That's what here it said. is, child. Okay, y'all know y'all know I can't stand myself. <laughs> okay, no, but you okay? So look, travel. I can't make this shit up. This is somebody, the reason why they always want to go far, go far out and travel because they are also, or they got somebody thinking that they had a child with that they're going to be together and work it out. Yup, moving. Somebody, I'm going to tell you something. This person's trying to move you into another place or they want you to move to another place. Somebody here, same shit, different day. This person have a situation that they're trying to sneak out of that you really don't know about. I can't make this shit up. Scarcity tactics. And you're like their getaway ticket or something like that. Maybe you don't know know it. It's like, you know, they're telling... They got somebody... I'm going to tell you what this person is doing. They are trying to get out of this situation that they have. And for some of you guys, there's a child involved. And, yep, they are a nine of pentacles. And they're trying to... This is like moving on another side of town. Or next thing you know, it's like... Move in with me. Move here with me. Let's just get a place. You know, we happy. You know, I like you. You like me. What's holding us back? You never really know somebody till you live together or have a baby. Why, why, let's just live. You know, we need to be living our life to the fullest. And it's like, you know something is not all the way being said, but you do it. And maybe some of you guys just need to take your time so you can get the full, like, story or what this is going on here. But this is somebody here that they've been telling this other person that they're going to work it out. They're going to be a family. They're working on them. And that could have been the deal that they made with this person. But they're they're not keeping it because they kind of want to connect with you. Child, you That's better. What's this? Seven is lightning. This is Aqua Aries energy. Earth Venus are here. Tesaurus Virgo Capricorn is in the building. 
Oh, uh, we got to get an ancestor message after this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What is this? Seven of Lightning? Oh, shit. Hold on, child. These cards is flying. Y'all know we got that fire energy over here. I might have... Oh, God. I don't even know where the card went. And it flew somewhere. Damn. What's this one? The Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they're leaving. Somebody is ghosting a situation for you. No, we got to find this other card, y'all. Wait a second. 25, 23 is also an angel number. Okay, guys, let's get it. They're ghosting a situation for you. <sighs> they don't want the situation. It's like maybe they did and then they met you. Child. So you could be this new person in this person's life. What is this? What's the seven? Of, um, Give me something else on the seven of light. Oh, my. Yup, it's a lot. Okay. It's a lot. Okay, we got the... Yup, they are. They're going to Seven of Pentacles twice. There's a, there's, see, that's the thing. The Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Now, for some of you guys, this is somebody. Somebody's asking this person questions about where they're doing, what they've been, who they've been with, or what, whatever they're doing. I'm going to put these back because there's a bunch coming out of the time. I was listening. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of energy. There's a lot going on. And it, this person's been spending time with you. Yup. This King of Cups and the Queen of Cups showed herself. And they're not telling this person. This was not a free man. This was not a free agent. Yeah. Shit. What, what else is going on right here? They were, they're supposed to be working out with this other person, but they're traveling. Y'all moving in together, doing all this shit. And this could be somebody they got a child with. That might be something you don't like about this person. Because what if something gets real between y'all? See, this is why you got to be careful what you accept. What goes around comes around is karma, right? You know, there's a balance to it. So this could be what you're asked for. We're going to get this answer to Let me get these cards right now. Is why you're, they're trying to warn you about this person. Because, you know, you you might need to ask more questions. Because you might not know, but you feel it. And then you get yourself in a situation. This is something they got some child. They're supposed to be working it out with this person. And for some of you guys, they definitely got a kid with this person. Give me some more on this, please. What's the T on the Seven of Swords? We got groupie and ego. This person here has been sneaking and fucking up with other people. But maybe they, they it's like something about you makes them want to just like um, be in a relationship. But they've been sneaking out of this relationship. This could be why they are not at home or with this person. We got, I told you, phones. There's something in this person's phone. There could be a screenshot, unfazed, dirty offer. That's it. Now, for some of you guys, you're going to be unfazed by a dirty offer because I don't feel like you know this. Like, it's one thing if you knew and you accepted this, but you don't. We got clout, hungry, and hooked. This is somebody here that likes a lot of attention. They will do shit for clout. And this is someone here um, that they're hooked on you, though. Child, let's get this ancestor message. The tea is piping hot in October. Oh, my God. What's the, what's the um, Six of Lightning? And it's like your ancestors are sending you messages. What's the six of lightning? Ooh. They said that, that. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. Hunter, track you down. Fears and desires. Warrior. And we have hermit in reverse. Now, for some of you guys, this is someone here, to be honest with you. They they are, they, they stop. Look at this. What I, oh, what I tell you? God, I cannot make this up. Hey, y'all. Oh, my God, I'm about to scream. I love when I get confirmation like this. God, what I tell you, God has given the ancestors permission to show you something about this person. And this is somebody here. They, they, they stop people. And there's something because you're not getting something that you're supposed to be getting. That's exactly what's going on. Oh, my gosh. Hold on, y'all. Wow. What else is going on with the Six of Swords? What else is going on? The Five of Cups. Yup, and the Warrior of Cups. Yeah. It, I told you, this is somebody here that feels like they're going to owe you an apology or something like that. Because they have feelings for you, but they are, they... Yeah. 
they were working on. For others of you guys, this was another situation that they could have promised or I got somebody thinking they're working on. Everybody's not going to resonate with the child and the family situation. Um, this could be somebody that wants to build a family with this person. They got somebody really like thinking they're going to be in a relationship, but they're not. What you need to know about this person is this could be something they do. Like they could make everybody feel that way. They're going to be in a relationship. We're moving in together. We're going to do all this. And then they just move on to the uh, next person. Yeah, meditation. They leave you hanging. Give me some more tea on that. Mm. What's the tea on that, please? Mm. Ain't shit. Damn! Yeah, and they might have a group of friends. They all, this is like, you know, uh, you know, they could call each other, you know, girls and boys call each other bros, but they might like play a certain game. They all do this shit. You might notice that too. Yep, they're impersonators. This is fucking, this person is wild. Wow. That's what this is? Um, I need to see something on the child. On the sun card. I'm going to use a whole nother deck for that. Hold on, y'all. What deck do I want to use? With the oh, they're showing me something. Okay. We're going to use this one. All right, cool. Oh, my gosh. What's the sun card? Oh, wait a minute. A lot. And that's what God... It's like... <laughs> This person is going to be exposed to you, though. Or you're supposed to be the one that changes this person. Damn. It's fated to happen. Reunion. Journey. Yup, I told you. They're supposed to be on a journey. They're supposed to re. They're supposed to reunite with somebody. And this person has been crying over this person. Also, there's a situation to be having money with this person. I told you, they're expecting somebody, they're expecting to be happy, They and they could be left into their fucking friends. I don't know, it's this person's character. It's like you also notice something about their character. Yeah, and they're not. That's what's being exposed. Yeah. Melancholy. Somebody here also, um, now for some of you guys, uh-uh, Yeah. So, okay, let me tell you something else I'm picking up. Now, also what I'm getting, see, God is here again. God is always intervening in your behalf. Lord is here. Let me tell you something. This is somebody here that has a, a, a meeting, doctor, and expectation. This is somebody that's pregnant. And they're under the impression that, you know, them and this person is going to be together. We got a uh, fortune here. Maybe they're supposed to be, you know, building a family or something. They already got this person thinking that they're not. They're, but they're busy, like, dating you. Y'all telling you, y'all moving in. I don't know who the fuck this is for. Child. That's exactly what it is. And here go God here again. But you're, like, protected by this. To be honest, God could be using you. This could be somebody that you're assigned to in October. And you got to teach them a lesson or God is using you. Y'all could agree to like certain lessons. And now you're being called to come in. Because this person here is like, do way too much. Child. June is popping. Yeah. And some of you guys been doing this many lifetimes with this person. This is somebody here. Yeah. Like y'all could have more than one contract. Um, stop repeating the same fucking thing. I cannot make this up. Now, for some of you guys, the infinity also represents the number eight. Y'all could have did this eight lifetimes. You had to come here or some shit like that to get this person, like, on the right path. Now, this could be you. I'm just saying. I gotta say that, but yeah. That's what this is. Yeah. And there's something here. It could have been eight lifetimes that this person's been doing the same thing, and it, enough is enough. So it's like God is pulling certain strings. Dope of yeah. And they get a high off of doing this shit. It could feed their ego. Yeah. And this person likes to play. You could like you might notice they also like play a lot. You are so lucky. Yeah, because see, they was gonna get you next. That's exactly what this is. But I feel like you end up, like, moving on and dating somebody else once you, you realize something about this person. 
Yeah, the three of ones is here. You get distant from this person. Yeah, cock blocking. And this is also somebody here that's going to try to like um, cock block your next relationship so you know that. What well, this person wants to say? Yeah, who do you love? Now, for some of you guys, this might be you confronting this person. Like, so what is it? So you with this other person? Like, once you found this out, it's been revealed to you some kind of way or some shit like that? It's like, so you 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 got a fan? Like, what's going on? Yeah. Then this might really hurt y'all, though. And that could just be the lesson. Like, you don't play with people like this. And now you find somebody you really like, you really love, and it's like karma comes. Ain't that when karma come into play? That's exactly what the fuck I'm seeing here. And I feel like it's you that end up walking away. And because of you, this could be somebody here that never played mind games like this again. They might even stop hanging with these certain friends. Yep, after math is fuck you. That's just what it is. That's what I'm getting. I feel like this is you. Yeah, free to go. You ain't got time to... No. You came too far. Thirty-five fifty-eight on the timer. Woo, child. Yup. All right, let's get some um love oracles. Um, something flipped over. I could have swore something flipped over. Wait, no. I could have swore something did. Maybe not. One more time. Yep, it did. Signs, I told you. Signs and clues. But you're not getting the signs, so your ancestor stepped in. Yeah, guys, the guy that steps toward love. Now, for some of you guys, it's like, you know, I don't know if y'all were talking about moving in or you will be talking about moving in or something like that. But it's like, yeah, on this communication, here it is. I feel like you need to ask, like, a lot of questions. But gift giving is this person's love language, so they don't mind spending money on you. I heard um, it ain't tricking if you got it, child. Now, I ain't calling this person a trick. That's just a song. So it could just be the energy that's being applied here. <laughs> okay. Give me the universal messages. Let's get some universal messages here. This is universal messages. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm playing on your phone. This is somebody here that will play on your phone when they get in one of their moves because I came out sideways. Um, we got child support here, and we have I'm, di I'm divorced. They could have been working on a divorce, or you know how some people that get divorced and talk about getting back together. That's exactly what I'm getting. Oh my gosh. Sheesh. Mm -mm -mm. All right, y'all. I'm not going to pull too much because the video is already a little bit longer than I want it to be. And I want it to upload. Not in five days. All right. Damn, y'all. For some of you guys, that's that's what it is. They are they went through a divorce and they could have been talking, you know, to their person because the king and the queen of cups is a pair. Talking to this other person about like, you know, getting back together, working on a relationship. Um, th and let's say they got divorced and they would, you know, they started sleeping with their like ex-wife, ex-husband again. That person could be expecting for some of you guys. And that's why they're like, well, we've been, you know, fucking again and I'm pregnant. Like, don't you, let, let's just like work on, let's just think, talk about getting back together. And they have been. Yeah, spiritual journey. Damn. But this is your spiritual journey. So for some of you guys, it's like, you are definitely going to be tested in a situation. Run with the wolves. And the shift. Yep, there's a shift coming. There is a shift coming. And for some of you guys, you already feel this and you already know this. And for some of you guys, you might have to, like, stand up for yourself. Yep, plant seeds, transform. Yeah. Child, look at this. But the point is, the baby, the, that seed that grows, tells it all. It tells a certain story. 
maybe that's when you're able to put things together. It's like, how the fuck are you having a baby by somebody you're supposed to be divorced with? And then maybe it comes out that they were talking about getting back together. They've been fucking before that, obviously. Yup, and that's when things transform. Ends. Between you and this person. Yup, the ancients. That's what your ancestors is getting you to see. Oh, shit. I'm going to be honest with you. This is somebody... I don't know whose message this is and how much of the message, if the whole message is going to resonate with you for some of you guys. But this is somebody that I really feel strongly that they were going to work it out with this other person. And then they meet you. And they don't want to work it out no more. Not even if the other person is, is messy. This is a hot mess, I just heard. Because they... They have now, it's going to get, because this is somebody that has already built a, a history with they've been married to for some of you guys. This could be a commonwealth marriage. And they have been sleeping and seeing, seeing this person. Now somebody here is expecting and now they're talking about, you know, this could even, you know, um, working it out. Now, if they've been divorced from this person, they also pay this person child support. If they have another child with this person. That's why this is so fucking messy. That's what she said. And that's what your ancestors are trying to get you to see. And I feel like if God would told this person to leave this person alone and they still went back, and you were fated to come in their life, they fucked this up with so much karma because they didn't let go of the person they were supposed to let go of. Now here you come. And God has to intervene twice. We have Tesaurus, we have Caprion, we have Sagittarius, and we have Pisces. That's what's happening in October. Now... This is a mess, y'all. This is a hot fucking mess. I'm not even going to hold you. Because, I mean, they should have told somebody I met somebody. But they're not really supposed to be meeting you. But they did. And y'all hit it off. And they just couldn't resist it. I'm not saying that make it right. I'm just seeing how it played out. Damn. Okay, guys, we're going to shut it down right here. Um, I would keep praying because God will show you. He is a revealer. He reveals things to you. Um, you need to keep praying on it, and you need to make sure you are asking the questions. Okay? Okay, I love you guys. Stay dope. I hope this helps you out in more than one way. If I resonate with you in any way, go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you're hitting that bell. Make sure you're hitting also. You're always tapped in, tuned in, and notified when your messages are ready for you guys. Stay dope. I'll catch you in your next video upload. I'll show you in a month.